What's up, everyone? How's it going? Oh man, well, I mean, it, it, it's crazy because uh, like you said, we had met each other uh, before this party, but we just never had talked before. And I remember that when you said storyboard artist, I just thought, okay, this dude's pretty cool. You know, he makes drawings for a living. That's super dope. But it wasn't like, like it, 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 I didn't comprehend everything that went into it until we started doing some practice runs. And I was like, whoa, like, hold up, this is really cool. And then you, 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 you know, you name drop these movies that I'm such a big fan of, you know, you're like, oh yeah, I worked with Jordan Peele on Get Out. And I was like, what? Like, hold up, dude. Like, that's insane. I was fanboying from the start. And, and then I was just like, dude, this guy, this guy is insane. And I was like, what else have you done? What else have you done? And then, you know, you gave me your Instagram and I just started looking at your stuff and I'm like, holy crap, this is insane. And so, dude, thank you for having me. Uh, this is an amazing opportunity and I'm very grateful. And this is super exciting just to be here today. So thank you again. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think I think we can't hear Eric. Oh. Wow, my bad. My bad. Oh. So uh, Can you guys we, we hear could me? I'm not sure, but we can't oh. hear Eric. Okay, I'm I'm pretty sure they could hear me cuz I'm listening to myself. Okay. 1 2 1 2. There we go. There we go. All right. Okay, awesome. So I guess we could awesome. kind of we, we could like rewind a little bit, you know? That, that was kind of like yeah. a practice run, right, Hector? Yeah, that was practice. That was practice. That was it totally was, it was practice. Just practice. Yeah, we haven't even yelled action, so we're not even. We yeah. Yet. So yeah, yeah. I mean, before this, I was a little nervous, and now that you know we did our first fuck up, it's okay, you know. Um, right, right. Uh, but anyways, so we Hector and I first met um at a birthday party um of uh his his neighbors uh his his neighbor rosa her son had a birthday party and i came through because that's my uh his sister is my goddaughter and we uh you know we we're all hanging out eating cake this and that and then um I was just asked, you know, what, 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 what do you do? He goes, Oh, I'm a filmmaker. And I'm like, Oh, okay. My ears perked up. You know, that's what I was doing this for earlier. And, um, cool, cool. Um, and I was just like, Oh, okay. Uh, well, I'm a storyboard artist, you know? And then like Hector, when you heard me say that I'm a storyboard artist, what, what went through your mind again again man it's 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 crazy um yeah i just remember i was like thinking like okay this guy must be a cool dude because you know he works in the industry one but two he just makes drawing for a living and i was like that it's like the coolest thing ever and you know but but again it's like uh, until we started practicing it and, and just kind of storyboarding 
again just you and me it was like whoa like hold on like this is actually really cool and and it's really cool and and i i just want to real quick eric like i was telling you earlier i just want to shout out to all the students uh so uh i'm a teacher over at a high school i'm assisting uh, one of my good friends patrick who's a teacher there and we have the chat full of the students right now so everybody's gonna get extra credit right and uh thank you guys for being here first off and uh, next off um dang i forgot oh yeah so it's like like i'm telling my students is you make the movie before you make the movie right and these storyboards are just like the start of envisioning what's to come and that's why it's very important to you know to do your shot list it's very important to storyboard and being able to collaborate with you is just like opening all these different doors you know just into creativity right and i remember you telling me like i i asked you you know if you get to collaborate too or is it just like what the director wants and it truly do truly just and people will see it today but it was very brief between you and me it was like five minutes that i was just like whoa this is amazing but now people are really going to see what it's like right this collaboration between the storyboard artist and the director and i'm just very excited for that and again again eric like i said very thankful to be here so thank you for having me yeah for sure oh and just some backstory like we did a couple uh tests live streams and uh i think two days ago and um we we started boarding out the script that we're about to um read over this is his his next script how many films have you done now um i'd probably say like 10 short films <sighs> and like 20 that people don't know about wow it kind of stays that way that yeah. that's great that's great and then um uh you recently were in a film festival right yes for yes, what was... what was the film cigarettes yeah so we made a we made a short film it's 15 minutes long it's now available on youtube it's called cigarettes after dark uh that film went to the mexican-american uh uh film and television festival and it also went to the beverly hills film festival which i was most excited for obviously um and two it went back to my roots of salesian film festival so salesian is the high school that i went to and it's now the school that i you know assist and teach at and so just to go back and kind of show the kids that you can do whatever it is that you want is is just very fulfilling you know, because I feel like people can say you could do it, but it's not until somebody does it and comes back and says you could do it. that it's like, OK, you know what? I could do it. And so um, there we won the Suzanne Wishner Award, which, again, like I was telling you off camera, is, was very important to me. You know, it's very dear to me because Suzanne Wishner was a great woman and she's the woman that I learned film from in my time in high school. And she, you know, just recently passed away. So. It was oh very, yeah very meaningful to me the award and um yeah it was just something cool that i felt like sharing so what, what did she yeah. teach she taught film oh she, she did film. yeah she taught drama she taught film uh cinema studies mass media she was she was just a nerd she was a geek in the best way possible um you know she showed me musicals i'd never seen before you know, she just kind of brought in the love I had for the movies from my grandma. And I, you know, kind of like found another grandma and somebody. And then it just kind of, you know, excelled me and pushed me forward into into what we are now. So that's awesome. And then that's that's so great that you got the award. Um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That's awesome. Um, cool. So why don't we jump into this? Um why don't we st so okay give us a little uh, backstory about uh, what what is homecoming a short reunion about ooh um what is homecoming short reunion about so this was this was um this is a very personal story um that that I just kind of ran into one day is as I was having you know my own kind of issues Oh, thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm like looking at the comments too, Eric, and, and we've got a couple of questions and we got a couple of shout outs, which is pretty cool. I'll ask you the questions right now. OK, Eric, cool. Uh, yeah, I'll let you know what the people are saying, what the friends are saying. Um, but uh, Homecoming, a short story, was written in a time where the low was the low and I needed to write something that would help me just feel better along with like just this 
awesome Instagram reel that I just ran into and it was like the perfect spark. It was like the perfect ignition to my match. You know what I mean? It was just, it was just insane. It was like this reel that described exactly what I was going through at that moment. And I was like, son of a bitch, like Instagram is just onto me at this point. Um, and so I just kind of took that reel and the song and it was just very inspirational to me. And I was like, you know what? It just makes sense for me to write it. And so I wrote it and it's a story about, you know, two people who were very much in love one time and then they, you know, separate each other for years. And then it's just what happens when they see each other again, you know, it's, I feel like it could happen to you. It's so universal. Uh, it's happened to some people, I'm sure. So it's just thinking about the experience, you know, is it going to be something uncomfortable? Is it going to be something that almost feels out of this world? Is it going to be something that, that brings forth memories are you floating in a timeless warp of memories when you see this person again you know what what happens right what, what, what would you say to that person that's kind of what this is about um so it's very interesting it's a pretty cool topic that's great that's great um wait so you said that it, it came f there's music that also kind of inspired yeah so so you know how now on instagram you can put music on posts uh, that's pretty cool. I thought that was really I didn't cool. even know you could do that. So really, <laughs> it's, it's yeah, really, okay. It's, yeah, it's no. awesome. It's really awesome. And so yeah, this this post had music in the background, and I was listening to it, and it was like this song was just so damn good, and it was so catchy, and and I was listening to it, and I was like, damn, wow, Instagram, you're I don't I don't know, like this is way more than the FBI at this point. Like this is just my. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it got me, it got me. And I just kept replaying that reel for like 40, 50, 60 minutes. Like I was just playing it, you know, in my headphones as I was typing away in my computer and it was just going again and I was just going again and I was just going through the slides. Right. And it was like this post of like what the characters were saying. And I just got the idea from there and the song just kind of inspired it too. And it was just, I just saw everything. You know? That's I just, great. I got to writing. Yeah. What is the song? What is this song? Ooh, it's called Promise by Young Laffy, I think, or Young Young Laffy, something like that. Promise. I don't want to play it now, though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> For obvious reasons. Young Laffy? Um, uh, here, let me see. Uh, Promise. Laffy. Sorry, just Laffy. Well, L-A-U-G-H-Y? L-A, no, sorry, L-A-U-F-E-Y. F E Y Laffy. Okay, cool. Well, I'll check that out. Um, yeah, maybe pronounce Laffy. I don't even know, to be honest with you. <laughs> cool, cool. Well, <clears throat> let's read through it. Um, All right. Homecoming, a short reunion written by Hector Santiago. Um, I'll uh, I'll be the girl. Um, <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll read the uh, the slugs. So okay, sure. Exterior street carnival night, lit by tender light bulbs. Boy stands near the woman's bathroom. Uh, through the timeless passerby, he sees girl. He stares. After a beat from a faraway group, a head turns, looking at the crowd. Girl. Their eyes connect. Girl begins to move forward. Boy repeats. Face to face, they are once more. Girl, hey. Boy. Hi. They linger in the timeless warp of memories. Background fades as a spotlight shines on just the two of them. Girl, it's nice to see you again. Boy. Yeah, you too. They stand as different people. Girl, you look great. Boy. Thanks. You do too. Girl, thank you. Boy. You changed. Girl, did I? Boy. You seem to have. Girl, I don't like the way I dress. Wait, you don't like the way I dress now? Boy. Looks a bit old for 22. Girl, I'm 23 now. Boy. Oh. 
girl. Yeah. Boy. I think Eric, I think for the for the sake of the time, I think it'd be best if we if we if we just like call it that. Okay. I, I don't want to I don't want to give it away either. You know, like, right. like I don't I don't want there to be a mystery of suspense. I mean, I don't want there to be any uh, mystery. You know, like the people have to be hooked. You know? All right, for sure, for sure. All right, then let's just go through it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Thank all right. You so cool. Much. Yeah. That. No worries. All right. So Sorry let's go. No, no, that's no, cool. So, all right. So, what we did so far from some of the, um, uh, we 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 did some boards earlier, and um, yes. we first looked at some some reference of of a carnival. We looked at the, uh, um, we we did some top down diagrams. You know, uh, I I've already recorded this stuff, so I could I could post it up a little bit later. But um, um, so far, well, I, I let's start from the top. Lit by tender light bulbs, boy stands near the woman's bathroom. Through the timeless passerby, he sees a girl. So, um, Hector, you had the idea first of like kind of a drone shot, or kind of like going overhead, and then we start. We see the uh, the Ferris wheel, and then we start going in, and then we see like uh, like two tents right here and then there's the the porta potties over here and then from there we cut to to the ground level right here and we see the boy right here and his girlfriend um exiting towards the restroom now see i that wasn't written in the script right um but uh i thought that was so so sometimes like directors don't necessarily have to have everything in the script you know it, it it's all it's, it's in their head so sometimes you can't really go off of the script but it, it's a great starting point the script is a great starting point so what we have is uh a wide showing the carnival then we got like more of a, a long shot showing uh, the boy and then the girl, she crosses over and goes into the restroom. Maybe she passes him her, passes her a purse or something to look after. And then um, explain to me this shot right here. Hector. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I remember uh, when we were talking about it, um, I was telling you I was very excited to try this out because I've never done anything like this before in never even you know thought of storyboarding this um but basically there has to be a time and there has to be a way that when they see each other the main characters there has to be a mental shift you know because if you sh if we shoot it normally like let's say oh you know i you know the boy sees girl and it's like oh man you know and like they hold the eyes but it's like everything around them is just normal and like everything is whatever then it's not special you know it's it's not special it doesn't really mean anything there's no interior um change right there's no turmoil there's no no visuals behind the feeling that the character is going through so what i wanted to do was bring this new experimental uh effect in camera where we messed a shutter angle we mess with the shutter angle and it could be you know either going higher than 180 lower than 180 but i wanted to make this effect where the character is standing still right boy he sees the girl and then all of a sudden we cut to him and then there's just like everybody moving around him like this you know and it's just like moving like that and it's like i don't know like he's on drugs or like something you know with uh you know uh it's like an ecstasy thing right and so he's the only one that's static while the whole world is moving around him and that just makes a very very powerful shot visually right because that's telling you the whole world it's going it's not stopping it's never going to stop but when you stop and you stand still something is happening you know something is happening inside of this character and that's what we were talking about in, in making this scene like that and so um eric you did a great job at um at, at capturing that to so check this out the storyboard 
Yeah. I have. I think we're missing a shot then, just because hearing that, like, I feel as though we need to have, we gotta like, you know, punch in on the boy. You know, maybe he's like waiting or something right here. So we're from here. Now we see this is our protagonist. You know, the boy. He's waiting here, and then maybe mm -hmm. he'll he'll do a look. You know, correct me if I'm wrong. I, I don't know. But then maybe he'll like, you know, sometimes you, you feel someone off screen or something. And he turns this way. And then you go to um, like a shot like, okay, we see what he sees. Maybe. Do we go over? Or it's like, what I'm thinking is like from here, we go to here. This is our profile. He turns and then his POV, he looks right here at the girl that he remembers. She looks to him and then this is where the time happens. The time shift. Gotcha. Is, that, okay. is that what, or is, is that, because I feel like from, from this shot right here to this shot, I was a little confused on what was happening um, gotcha. okay. in terms of, oh, he's seeing this timelessness. You know, I, I, I thought it was time passing while the, the, the girlfriend was in, in the bathroom, but, <laughs> yeah. but I mean, what, what do you think? Yeah, no, that makes a lot of sense actually. And I like that too, because, um, do you have the shot list with you as well? Uh, sorry, let me get that. No worries, no worries. Because in the shot list, um, I wanted to I wanted to shoot the first things in sixty frames per second so that we can slow it down but have a smooth transition. Like everybody's moving all normal, and then all of a sudden it's like boom, beat drop. He looks, everything just all of a sudden moves in slow. So I like that a lot actually. Thank you so much for that addition. Because that would make a lot more sense if he's just like, you know, scoping around the area, whatever. It's in 60 frames, but it's playing at 24. It's all nicely, nice, running smooth. And then he sees her, cut to her shot, boom, coming back. It's like all of a sudden there's this shift, right? And then we go into the slow motion. And then we cut back to her. She sees him. It's that shot that we have right there, the one that we already have done with the, with the red square. Um, mm -hmm. And then we cut to, and then it's that one the, the the one where like all the characters look blurry yeah dude it, it works out perfectly thank you so much interesting so like so let's say here's so if this is shot three we punch in can so if, if you do it at a higher frame rate can you like like can the people be at normal frame right here and then as he turns can you start you know speeding the frame rate up is it speeding it up or fl slowing it down? I forget. So um, we're, we're, we're bringing the, the frame rate up, but um, the, the thing with the shutter speed, that might have to be for the different shot. So so that's what we need to cut back to her before we can cut to that shot, to shot number, I don't know what it would be, four, five? Hmm. The, the, the full shot of him and the people passing by. Because one yeah. thing would be the frame rate, and then the other thing would be the shutter speed. The shutter speed would be the one you know that one with all the people moving and then yeah it would be for like shots two and three. Oh, okay so this right here the frame rate would be higher up uh for two and three yeah yeah it'd be 60 fps so does that mean that it would go a little bit slower yes modified on post though in post so we will have the ability to make it slower but it will run again smooth it'll run just like how you see video you know 24 oh, okay frames, and then okay. We'll slow it down yeah because i was thinking of this thing like let's say it's this normal speed right here and then as he turns you know the camera pulls back as this starts happening the uh what is it called the frame per second i don't know how you do that you know but um but uh but yeah just kind of getting that feeling like oh time is kind of um time is moving but i'm still you know mm -hmm. it's still yeah. 
well, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Um, so, okay. We have this three and then we go to what he looks. Let's go here. Four. This is his POV. This is the girl, right? Yeah. And then this yes. is five. And five then would be the one in the red, right? This. Because for so for shot number four, we uh -huh. have two shots there, right? Yes. So be like okay. Four and five. Yeah. Yeah. So four is right here. Five would be right there. Um. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Part of me feels like you should get a like a single of her or like just honing in on her, you know. I don't know, but we'll see. Yes, yes, yeah. That that will come um, later, though. It's it's in the shot list. Okay. All right. Cool. Um, yeah. Do you think it's easier? Oh, here's a great question I have for you as a storyboard artist. Mm -hmm. um, so you know how on set it's like you know you have the shot list, but you know depending on uh, you know whatever coverage you have to shoot, you know let's say you do a uh, uh, full shot, medium, and then the close up, right, of the same person because you're already in that setup. Mm -hmm. Would it work like that too on the storyboards, or do you just go like A to B to C to D to D? You know what I mean, like the way that it should play out in the edit. Like I want to know if you storyboard for the edit, or do you storyboard for the shoot? No, I oh oh yeah, um, I storyboard for the. It just depends, you know, on the director. But mm -hmm. like, I mean, some directors like to have it planned for the shoot, so not editorial. Mm -hmm. You know, and they'll okay. they'll they'll figure out the editorial later, like. Like you get your master, you know, and right, then exactly. then you punch in and then you get the whole master down and then you could go in and and get the other like close ups, you know. Um, but then most of the time, I'd say like 90 percent of the time I'm, I'm drawing for editorial. I'm drawing editorially. Um, gotcha. Yeah. So. Uh, and then i have another i have another question for you from the chat mm -hmm. uh so let's see uh brandon soto says would love to know the backstory for you both how you guys broke into the industry what drives you and what's the ultimate goal going into this industry you can answer that first um let's see i started off as a, a production assistant in the art department um and uh what's it called? I was just trying to figure out what I wanted to do. I wanted to like float around, you know? Um, I mean, that's what my dad said. Just, just float, see what you like, you know, and just yeah. learn all the departments. And then, um, and then, you know, I, I found myself gravitating to doing set design and stuff like that. So I got into Google SketchUp. You're, you're learning all these different um, skills as you're in the art department. And then, um, and then in 2008, uh, I think there was a, another writer's strike then, and there was a housing crisis that, yeah. um, I ended up getting let go off of the job. And I was promised to be, uh, uh, in the union as a set designer. And, um, that didn't happen. It, I got my dreams shattered and I'm like, forget this. I am gonna become a buddhist priest so <laughs> what That's yeah insane. i totally s went a whole different direction i learned a ton but then uh i was trying to get sponsored as a buddhist priest but it didn't work so i'm like you know i did it for like i was uh, probably like a year and a half trying to trying to hustle that but it didn't work yeah. out which is fine you know mm -hmm. i mean it's still it's still with me um my faith you know but uh i'm like i gotta i gotta go back to the film business you know i and yeah. then you know some of my contacts that i had uh prior uh, a woman named maya shimaguchi she um hired me back on and that was for thor uh and that was 2009 or 10 i think it came out in 2011 i think but yeah, um i think so but uh yeah i was in that art department and she's like so eric what, what do you want to do you know i'm like i don't know i just, just float see what happens and she's like no that's not what you do you got to 
make a decision. You have to choose what you want to do. And once you do that, then things will start happening for you. So in this art department, look around, see what you like, what you're interested in, you know, and, and make it, um, and, and, and figure out what you want to do. So I start looking around, I see the illustrators, you know, or, or the costume designers and just beautiful renderings of like human figures and drapery. And I was like, I mean, I love doing this. I would love to do this. I love doing anatomy. I love doing, um, you know, uh, people, but I, this will take me years to get to this level, you know? And, yeah. and then, and then I go over to the set designers and, you know, uh, I, I it just put a bad taste in my mouth because of what happened in the past. And then, um, and then I started seeing the set illustrators and I, I mean, I love what they do, but it's, there weren't really that many people in it. You know, it's mainly like architectural renderings of, uh, of, uh, of like the ante room of Thor's, um, home. But then, uh, so I'm like, I don't know what I want to do, you know, this and that. And then I, I'm getting time cards. I go to the production office and I see this person, um, drawing like crazy in the production office. And it's like, I haven't seen this guy. And I'm like, Hey, knock, knock, knock. What is this? What are you, what are you doing here? And he's like, Oh, I'm a storyboard artist. I'm like, Oh, oh, cool. And this his name was Darren Denlinger at the time. Um, awesome artist, awesome storyboard artist. I still look at his stuff and, and we're, we're, we're friends, you know, and we're, um, what do you call peers? I guess you say no, but, um, yeah. but he had like thousands of drawings that he's doing and he's doing people, he's doing environments but more importantly the story and uh i'm like that's what i want to do so then i went back to maya one day and i'm like you know i know what i want to do now i want to become a storyboard artist and she's like that's great that's great now go get me some coffee you know and <laughs> and um, but you know that from that day i just kept on drawing kept on drawing and then and look at me now you know boom I, and i knew that i wanted to this, I, I knew I wanted to get into feature films, you know, but I started off at, I mean, I have the whole story. I'll, I could, I could go into this, but, um, but yeah, I, uh, I ended up getting a portfolio together. I knew that I needed to do more figure drawing. I knew I needed to do more perspective. I needed to do, um, you know, just clean up my drawings better, got my portfolio together, sent it off to different agencies. Well, I first was a PA and I got fired. And then, um, Whoa, why, why, why? I just, it was politics, purely politics. Like I was a PA. Uh. They wanted me to, uh, uh, they, they wanted to go. They, they, okay. It was at universal and I was a PA and the designer wanted me to stay in LA to, to, to look over the art department in LA. But then the coordinator had to fly out to Boston to where they're shooting. She didn't want to go. She wanted to stay in LA. So she fired me so she could stay in LA. Does that make sense? Yeah. Wow. But I mean, Hey, you know, it's kind of a blessing in, in disguise, you know, because once I, right, but yeah. <clears throat> it got my, uh, my, my, well, I was living with my girlfriend at the time, which is now my wife. And we were, uh, um, in an apartment and there was no income that was coming in. So I was like, you know, I got to figure this out. I got to figure this out. Got my portfolio together and sent it out to different agencies. And then an agency liked my stuff, Storyboards Inc. And, um, uh, they just, they, she trusted me. They, they, they trusted me and I got my first commercial job and it was at what? 3 PM at, it was at 3 PM and I had to have it done by tomorrow morning at nine. So I, it was a full all nighter job and, um, I felt great. You know, I knew that this is what I wanted to do, you know, you, yeah. and then you just keep going, you keep going and. And 
you know, what are the the next aspirations? You know, I, I want to start, you know, teaching people, you know, like that's why I'm doing this live stream. You know, that's why I, I mean, we're doing this exercise right here, you know, like how do yeah. storyboards, how can it help the script? How can it help solidify ideas? And then more than anything, you visualize what you want to see when you're there. Yeah, I feel absolutely, absolutely, man. <coughs> I, I cannot agree more, dude. And again, thank you so much. And uh, I'm sure the students will thank you because you know you, you are teaching right now. You're teaching, so say hello to to our That's class. Great. Um, That's and then great. I had a had another question here. Well, it, it's two of them. Um, uh -huh. So uh, Patrick, our our instructor, he said uh what's the first thing he said he said um i hear you worked on the marvels the new upcoming um, mm, yes I don't know if that's a film or a tv show and then the set the follow-up question is um what is geez um how many marvel movies have you worked on and which one has been your favorite i mean the marvels was definitely my favorite it was the longest run that i've had um, I, I worked on Doctor Strange into the multiverse. Um, that oh, was wow. when it was Scott Derrickson was directing it, but then I think he stepped away from the project and then it went to Sam Raimi. And then, so, you know, Sam Raimi has his own storyboard artists. So, um, I, I left that show for something else and, um, and then most recently, like this past winter, uh, I did uh, Agatha Harkness, which is like an offshoot of WandaVision. And that was an amazing experience as well. I got to use a lot of Unreal Engine and um, uh -huh. um, setting up shots. So I, I learned a lot about Unreal, which was great. Um you kind of have to always be learning new things. I mean, even as yeah. a director, you got to be learning about the new technology. You know, there's different types of cameras that come out. I mean, yeah. like, what is, is it higher than 8K now? <laughs> yeah, there's a 12K camera, believe there's it or not. There's a 12K? Magic does it. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. So you can really get in close uh, yeah. on a wide, a wide screen. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, and, but what I loved about um the marvels is uh so nia da costa uh was helming it and i worked with her on Candyman, and you know i loved working with her because she's just she's so open and she's open to different ideas and um and you know we really started getting a relationship uh, like that's the thing you, you got to make relationships with people uh, especially for film because you don't know where yeah. your next job is going to come from, you know? Yeah. And like, I was talking with other artists about just being like a yes and kind of a person, you, you know? Um, yeah. And you let the directors filter and be the ones that say like, what is going um, a little too far off from the, uh, um, from from their their theme or from the story you know um like mm -hmm. like i was pitching right here of like what if this happened you know like is that too far away from what you're trying to do you know um with the story uh but but yeah you know that's i i would work with nia again anytime and i mean there's been a lot of bad press about that film um that i saw on i i don't get it I, I think it's it's just it's it's a different fan base or something i don't know but yeah, um but sense. i'm i want to see it you know i'm i'm excited for it and I, and like my my niece she's 5 she loves captain marvel and like mm -hmm. seeing it with someone so pure like that would be something great you know like 
like I, just watching stuff with my kids, like something that I would think is corny, it's brand new to them, you know? Yeah. So the, and they're, yeah. they're blown away by it. Like, um, that's just, what's so great about, you know, like something that's cliche to us may not be cliche to someone that's younger, you know, cause it, they haven't seen yeah. it before, you know? And, right. um, and I think that's, that's, what's great about, um, um, or that's something that we need to remember that things that are cliche can be, they don't have to be cliche to the younger audience. You know? I like that. Yeah, for sure. Um, Thank you for that. Appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. And then um, I, th I think the last one, the last question in two minutes or less, in two minutes sure. or less, what, what do you see in a good director? Uh, let me think, let me think. What do I see in a good director? Um, somebody asked that. I'm not. I'm not asking this. Yeah, no, no. Somebody I'm just thinking. Them, yeah. There's a, there's a lot of different qualities, but um, like communication, um, uh, um, the ability to um, well, for me, like I like to have the the directors feel comfortable. You know, because because when you have a, a a director that's comfortable, then then ideas flow easier. Because if, yeah. if 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 it's not comfortable or there isn't that communication, then you try to pitch something, you, you can't read them, so they might not like it. You know, but then if you know like they're uh, like who they are, where they're coming from, you know, getting to know. Um, them on kind of a personal level, it, it really opens them up and allows them to hear the ideas that you're pitching and you create connections to things in the script, to them, to me, to, to the audience. Um, yeah, that's, that's what I, I feel. Yeah, man. Well, thank you so much for that. Yeah. I feel like. As a director, you you do have to be open up to, you know, all sorts of opinions and kind of like they say, let the ego aside, you know. That's which yeah, is, which is hard. It's great as you get <laughs> as you get higher, but you got. I, I don't know. For me, I I keep trying to remind myself that you know, I'm still a beginner. I'm still learning. You know, and um, I am gonna do. The best that I could do in this position right now. Um, now, what what's what's tough is when you're working with a director that does not interface with you, and that their assistant is interfacing with you. Um, like getting, you're, like I'm getting directions from the assistant who may not mm. um, right. have all the information, also. You right. know? It's like the telephone game, right? Where like you have one person say something, pass it on, and then it just kind of gets misunderstood somewhere along the way, right? Yeah, and and that's what's tricky. Um, and, and I mean, I feel like there's it's easily you can easily waste money by doing that, you know, because yeah. you're you're getting it wrong. You could get it wrong, and then and then it's my fault you know, for getting it wrong. But again, I, I, I'm all about like, if you get it wrong, it's okay because it's shaping any wrong move that I do. It allows the director to see it. And then I know that that's not what they want. You know, I like that. Yeah. You kind of have yeah, to sure. put the crap down to see if that's the direction they want to go in you know, or, right. or not, you know, right. and typically right. like the first pass of stuff is, is this rough and just, <laughs> I mean, I'll clean it up a little bit more, but I try not yeah. to make it too precious. And so they get the feeling of what the, what the story is, what the narrative, what the flow is. Right. <clears throat> and I mean, it's not like, um, it's, this may look like I don't know how to draw, 
but I'm not trying <laughs> no, to figure but... out the drawing. I'm trying to figure Look, out the story, you know? Absolutely. No, and like check out one, two, six, five, like it, it's it's good stuff. So 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 okay, so let's check it out. Let's let's do like one more frame. Sure. Or one or two more frames so that you know we can talk about it and people can see how the communication is done in two. Great. You know, once once you we, we you, we can set aside like two minutes at the end so that we can clean them up a little bit and so they can see what it would look like, right? Already cleaned up. Like look sure. at number one. Look at number two. Dude, that's a really awesome looking Ferris wheel. Number two, those tents, dude, phenomenal. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Clean. Clean. Yeah. Clean. I don't know. That that's that's still a little rough, but it communicates it, you know? Um, Absolutely. 100 percent But cool. So what's our next shot? Um so let me pull up the shot list real quick. I think I sent it over to you. So let me go ahead and go mm -hmm. send shot list already. Awesome. So the next shot, let's see. So students of mine, remember, we make a shot list first and then we make the storyboard based on the shot list. Right. So uh, boy is full, girl is full. Right. Um, so then we actually skip that over. So it's not going to be a full. It's going to be the medium. And it's the one where she's leaning her head. Uh, boy medium. Uh, oh, OK. So let's do a matching shot. Let's do a matching shot of. Oh, where'd you go? Jeez. Let's do a matching shot of number six, but a medium. So now it's like of him. Yeah, of him. Yeah, because for her, we already have number five. No, you know what? Sorry, let me change that. So let's do a matching shot of number six, but for the girl. So let's make that number seven also a full for her. Of her. OK, yeah. Oh, her. it's like they see each other. Exactly. Yeah. So it's kind of like this shot right here. So let's copy that here. Let me just go like this. Is time stopped also on this for her? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. He's right here on this side. And then we'll have her like maybe on this on side. Right. Yeah. And then here's the boyfriend. And, and is she kind of like lifting her head up? Is she still leaning on him? Yeah, she's still leaning on him. So remember, remember the lean uh, here. Let me go ahead and stand up so I can give like a little demonstration. Sometimes I just have to you know, show how, how you intend. So it's it's gonna be like, like I can't even see myself right now. Uh, let me go ahead and change. Okay, cool. So it's gonna be like, um, like the the boyfriend is like this, right? It's the back of the boyfriend. Her head is right here. So there's obviously the height difference, right? So if this is, let's say, my fist, this is her. If she's like this, let's say these are the eyes. So the boyfriend is like that. He's looking forward. The girlfriend is like that with her eyes looking. That camera way. left uh-huh yeah camera left so she's gonna have this moment where she's like you know just like looking around you know the the guy's just chatting not really paying attention to her and then there's gonna be a moment where she just kind of you know and she's locks like, yeah so she's still gonna be like excuse me again holding on to his arm right because she's like she's like hugging him like this and she has her head like that right this is the chest so it's like that and then she's looking around and then she sees him and it's like, oh my God, you know what I mean? And she's still holding on to him. So her head is, is, is just looking, but you know, she's not maybe leaning on him so much anymore, but she uh -huh. just does this, you know? So like, are you going to oh punch God. in on her from there on her look? Um, yes, yes. And, and that would be after. So that would be okay. once we match the, um, um yeah so we're we're kind of gonna have three shots so they're gonna get tighter right so we started with number six let me let me uh -huh. check it out let me see that's the right one yeah so we start with number six then number the, the one that you extracted from that from the little one uh, -huh. uh the, the medium shot that you extracted from number six that's gonna we have to match that shot with the girl as well okay okay yeah so be two mediums matching okay so it's here. Let me just draw this person walking. 
these people walking And then we'll, we'll punch in again like this. Yeah, exactly. And then we get the matching shot from that. Yeah. I think he should be holding her jacket. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's holding like a jacket. Maybe he's holding a balloon. Maybe he's holding a bag of popcorn as well. You know, like all these little carnival snacks. Yeah. I like jacket though. That's a very good suggestion. Thank you. Or, or maybe, yeah, or maybe a prize that they won or something. <laughs> oh, I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking because, like, having it with a having him with a purse might be a little comical. You know? Gotcha. No, that makes I mean, sense. unless that that's sense. something you want, but... I like okay. the jacket. I, I, I like how you drew him holding it, too. That's actually very good. Okay, yeah, we cool. we can get that over to number six as well whenever we have the chance. Yeah. All right, cool. And it's, it, it's insane to watch it work like this, dude. It's really exciting. I mean, it's it's just it's it's really cool to see you just just power these out. You know, yeah. it's, it's amazing. Yeah. Cool. I mean, this is just uh, day in the life for me. So it's <laughs> it's, it's it's cool that that you that you appreciate it. You know. Of course, um, absolutely. Everybody, everybody, man. We we hear it in the chat. My girlfriend's in the chat. She's saying this is amazing. You know. Cool. Yeah, I'm sure the students will will talk about it in class on Friday. It's, dude. Nice. It's amazing. So really quick, yeah. what's our next shot? So after that, our next shots are, check it out. This is pretty exciting. So the next ones are. The girl's foot and the boy's foot. Wait, hold on. Actually, let me check. What do we have right now? Okay, no, no, no. Hold on. Sorry. We should have close-ups. So they should be close-ups like number three. Uh, and okay. Yeah, so they should be close-ups like number three, um, but with the shutter. You know, like with that same effect. Oh, okay. So it's basically, yeah. you're just getting like three different sizes kind of. Exactly. Yeah. Cause the thing too, is that, you know, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna kind of separate And this is what I was telling you about too, is we're going to separate like the carnival to uh -huh. when they're in this, you know, timeless warp or this timeless, um, place in space and time, you know what I mean? Like, like this, just this, this weird place, right. Of memories. And so I plan on separating it visually we didn't put it in the script obviously but i plan on separating it visually to just like okay the pumpkin patch is one thing and then this other thing is another thing you know what i mean so it's like the uh -huh. whole conversation is going to take place once they step into this different realm of 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 um 
uh, no time. And um, what I plan on doing is using the same shots that we do here at the beginning and using them at the end. You know what I mean? So like it connects yeah. everything. That's so, cool. You know, yeah, yeah. Thank you. So, so that way we, you know, we, we like, I, I guess I'm thinking more of like shooting wise, like how, you know, how we're going to shoot it. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I feel like just shooting that from the very start, like we, we can just use, you know, one full, I guess, a minute take. Let's say we use the beginning of it for the beginning of the film. Conversation happens. When we go to the edit, we use the last 15 to 20 seconds of it, you know, and then it'll be like once they're back in reality, they're saying goodbye to each other. They don't say a word. They never did to begin with, but they just kind of have that look again and then the separation. And it's like, you know, the smile and you say goodbye with your eyes, which mm -hmm. is really emotional. Yeah. Does yeah. And sense? then, yeah, I, I remember in the script, this is something about a spotlight comes down. Yes. And, and that would be after the, the boy's foot and the girl's foot. Oh, okay. Okay. So we'll yeah. do this. I'm just going to quickly. Can we, can we move the boy a bit more camera left? Just a tad bit. Just yeah. So yeah. Maybe like a bit more on the line. Yeah. Like that. That's cool. I like that. And have him looking like kind of at camera ish or a little. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. I love that eye line. Yeah. Like looking like this way. Yeah. Yeah. So he should be looking camera left as well. Oh, he should be looking this way. Yeah. He should be looking camera left. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to go cross-eyed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm sure maybe it's just the way I'm taking it in, but I feel like his body is facing camera right. Oh, it should be facing camera left? Yeah, facing camera left a bit more, yeah. Here, let me, let me, let me redo this. he's turned right yeah exactly yeah yeah and now this is when he is it... yeah yeah i was gonna say we yeah 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 thank you for that arrow because i was gonna say if he's you know looking this way looking that way and then he just has this sort of like half a turn right mm -hmm. and he sees should her. he be more camera left or should he be more camera right like that i feel like it could be just a tad bit uh because um... if we have him on the right and then she on the left you know, like, let's say if from the top view, or, yeah, let's say from the top view, here's the tent. Here he is right here, pumpkin patch. And then she's, like, right here with her boyfriend. And right now we're getting a shot that's kind of, like... Yeah, put the, put the, put the line there, like, between him and her. Yeah, like this. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Like, like, put the the line that I should. Yeah, like that exactly. Yeah, make that line for me. Thank wait, you. Wait. Yeah, the, so uh, the camera. Like this line, right? Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the one eighty degree rule. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because the camera should be on the right side of that line for this him. This side, right? So, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So he'll be right here, and then she'll be like over here, right? Exactly. Yeah, exactly right. Yep. So yeah, so he will be more this side of the frame, right? Mm, yes. Can we center him just a bit more? Like maybe not so much to the left, but just just a bit more center on him. Wait, like this? Or he's his his him facing his. Ooh, you know what? That's a great observation. Let's let's put him facing camera right a bit more and center him more. So like where you had dropped him, 
like near the center, but facing more camera right then. Like his body facing camera right and him more at the center, yeah. Yeah, I like that. And then wh what direction he's looking? Still camera left? He's, yeah, he's looking camera left. It's like he turned. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's perfect. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, cool. And then... And then we go on to her, right? Yeah, exactly. Punch in on magic. her. Mm -hmm. Let's make hers tighter. Let's make hers a close-up. Okay. So, so, yeah, we only see the back of the guy, of the boyfriend. Like, we don't even care about his neck anymore. Yeah, it's just them two. Yeah, exactly. I'm drawing like her shoulder right here. This is her neck. And if if the boyfriend was anywhere, he'd be like right here. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude, that's great. And here's the shoulder now. Mm -hmm. I don't know, this the eye line is kinda oh. Yeah, um, she could be looking a little more, she could be looking, a, just her eyes, she could be looking a bit more toward camera, but, you know, camera right, but just, I feel like she's looking off to the side, to the right a bit more. I don't know if that matters really on a storyboard. Would it matter? Uh, sometimes. It just, like, um, it's like, this makes sense, because he's looking this direction, and she's looking this direction, and this right here. He should be looking like this direction and she should be looking this direction. Like, just really quick. Mm -hmm. But then, yeah, but now we're getting on the other side of the line. Um, don't have too much time left, but we could. Yeah. Um, we'll just well, roll here, with how about, it. Mm -hmm. How about we draw? How about we, how about we do the shoes now? At least one pair of shoes. Okay, let me just write close up, close up, fix eye line, fix eye line, okay. And then, sorry, then then which part? Uh, so so uh, we, we can just start the next shot uh, just, just for the purpose of, you know, changing it a little bit from uh, characters just to, you know, uh, uh, body parts. So, so it's gonna be side, uh, it, it's a shot from the side. Profile. And it's gonna uh -huh. be, yeah, profile of the of the shoe or the foot or whatever. Um, so I want to do the girl first. So let's pretend she has boots on, but like those black leather boots with a little bit of heel. You know which ones I'm talking about. And and it's gonna be. I want I want to see, and I'm sure the students too. They want to see how we would illustrate a dolly track. So from the left to the right. Like if she was walking, how would you show that motion? Let's see. We go like this. I like to flip my page a lot, so. <laughs> I would first draw, that's her thigh, this is her calf, and then come in here, and then be like right here. That. 
And then is there anybody else in the background like moving or is it is this yes. blackness? Yes. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it, it, um, um, I'd like to see the um, like like the feet of the people too, like you know, with the with the shutter speed too, and you know, like we were saying, like the baby strollers. Maybe there's like a baby stroller in the back. It's just you know, for for uh, um, extras or background stuff. But yes, mm -hmm. the shutter speed too should apply to the back. You know, everybody's just kind of walking around in the back. You have just, some you know, foreground here. Yeah. So there's this. We have. Oh, the boyfriend's feet as well. Yeah. I like drawing outside of the frame just because, like, like just drawing a body part, it's hard to yeah, like, gauge dude, where I, it's at. Dude, it's it's amazing, man. I mean, I'm just kind of, I'm really quiet because I'm just standing in awe, dude. I'm just like, this is amazing. Is it like these kind of higher, higher boots? Yeah, that's cool. That's cool, yeah. Ooh, I like that. Oh man, getting real technical here, dude. This is awesome. For sure. Low angle on girls' boots. Walking. It's a boy. 60 FPS. And then you do one over here of the boy, right? Yeah, the boy too. So Just I draw. Imagine. I always draw my perspective in there. Dude, this is amazing, bro. Cool. You got me at the perspective, dude. I don't, I, I didn't. Yeah, perspective um, yeah. is pretty key because yeah. perspective allows you to make the camera um, it, it grounds the camera mm -hmm. absolutely man this is insane Yeah, I feel like, yes, now I understand that he is looking this way. Like right here, he should not be looking this way. He should be either looking straight ahead and she should be looking straight ahead. I kind of want him to be still looking straight ahead right here. I don't know. What do you think? I, I, I feel like I feel like I just if if we can I like where his head is and uh -huh. I like the neck, uh -huh. but I think we can maybe just kind of shift the body a little more towards camera left, meaning his right. You know what I mean? I feel like yeah. it's just looking there too much.
Yeah, like that, dude. That's so cool. That's yeah. So okay, yeah, he's looking camera left and she's looking yeah that 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 works that works um and then from here she goes and then he goes and then and then what are you thinking like a two shot um uh, oh, hands. hands yeah that's how i want them to unite i don't want them in the same frame per se because i don't want the i don't want to connect them you know, mm -hmm. they're not, they're not together. Okay. So how, how do you want to see their hands coming together? This is, this is kind of like, I, I'm, I'm going to like reenact it. I'm here. I'm going to take a look at the, at the thing here. It's like, this is the shot. Like it should be this tight and it should be like, like he comes like that. And then she comes like that and maybe. I don't know, just like as subtle as just like this. Okay. You know what I mean, like, yeah, like just like like that, like just the subtle is a is a, is a, is a is a you know just a tip, you know, finger wise. I mean, do you want to see it how you had it, like where the hands are like like is this kind of like more abstract? Yes. Okay. so like wait what do you mean by that like uh, what's your more of? metaphorical like more like it's not this right it's not them holding hands it's yes, yes. but and it's not this where they're yes. like it's not this mm -hmm. nope it's just but it's it's like like they're okay yeah yeah it's like it, it's literally like the most random most weird thing ever but it's 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 a moment that just kind of feels right for that you know it's like it's not you know the the et you know yeah fingertip touch and it's not the i'm gonna hold your hand and we're gonna you know be together no it's like yeah like like you like you like you said it's just this weird abstract thing where it's just like you know they're kind of both reaching but it, you know, just it, it's up to just one person to reach further and just touch their finger like that. Mm, mm -hmm. Oh, Eric, you got like six more subscribers. Oh, nice. Dope. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, guys. You. Thank you, students. Yeah. Um, so something like this. Um, is this going to be kind of like theatrical? Like, uh, yes, like, they're reaching. Like more like this. Like the yes, lighting is dude. different. It's more like. Yes, 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 it is. Yes, it is. Because this is the moment. Thank you so much for asking that. Let me like cut you off completely. This no is the moment where it's like, it's how do I even explain this? It's, it's going to be a cool shot because it's going to be almost like nighttime, but it's going to be like in the sunset kind of hour. And so it's like they're reaching. And once there's like that touch, excuse me it like becomes this kind of morphing into the darkness and it just kind of goes dark and then the the spotlight shines and then there's just all of a sudden this like you said like a theatrical thing where it's like here are the hands they're mm. reaching one touches goes dark you know it's like bring the curtains down bring the lighting down and then all of a sudden we've transported into this new world and then there's the light coming in and so there's like you know from from here to here the way i'm looking at it the way you're framing it there's going to be a glow on the fingers you know and it's just going to create this amazing beautiful separation yeah 
Yeah, yeah, that's cool. I don't know, for some reason I feel like it sh we should go into like a wide, but then it's just them. It's just them. Yeah, it's, like, it's just them. And then it's like they're on a stage. It feels, I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> oh, dude, that's actually pretty cool. Didn't think of it that way. I kind of wanted to keep it very, very personal and just, you know, shoot singles. But this is good suggestion. Or it's like maybe if 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 they are in a stage, like in a theatrical stage, it can even be something where it's like a really wide shot of like just them two at the stage. Totally. Camera high angle, like at the left side, looking down. You know what I mean? Like at an angle. Like like if this was your square. Uh huh. And these guys are here on camera right. We get the camera high, move it left, and then just kind of like a security camera kind of angle. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like... So wait, what, what side of the frame would they be on? They would be on the right side of the frame, like like where the lines intersect right there, like where that X is. That'd be cool. Yeah, like right there. Uh huh. So okay, I'd say... okay. Hmm. Yeah. Uh. Let's 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 uh. Let me see. Let's change that a little bit because that looks a little menacing. That does look like there's somebody watching them. So from where the perspective from where you have it, let's bring that a bit more. Like let's let's swing that over to the right just a tad bit. This one. You know what I mean? Like if we're like this, let's do this. So it's like, so it's center, like more it, here. More centered, yes, more centered than than yeah than that one, yeah. Yes, just like that, just like that, mm -hmm. Eric, just like that, and then let's let's move it more to the left. So like move the camera left, so they're on the right, right hand side. Okay. There, yeah, on the right hand side, on the right. Uh, uh, dang, on the on the right line. Jeez. And then like, wrap around them to the left just a little bit. Wait. So. So wrap around to the left, so you're favoring. You're you're more behind the girl a little. Yes. Yes, but not too behind, like the first shot. You know, because the first shot almost seems like. Like it's the guy being, you know, favored. Like this is his shot. Like should be a little more even. Like that. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah, and maybe even looking down a little more. Like I want this to feel like, like it's a big theater, and you're like the one that's sitting all the way to the back, all the way to the left side of the auditorium. You know, like if you go to oh, the theater, okay. like okay. you're sitting way above everybody else, all the way to the left. You know, like that should be the kind of view. I should have started with that. I mean, this is like super wide. Yeah, yeah. We can start super wide, and if we, if we, yeah, dude. Yeah, and and we can we can. I like that, and and we can even do like from higher above, mm. if possible. Like the camera, just like bring the camera up higher and look down a little more. Oh, that's cool. I like that and and from this frame let's keep the same frame but we can go even just a tiny bit tighter than that so we can even make it i don't know like a 15 percent tighter 
and then just bring them just a tiny little bit more to the center. Ooh, perfect, perfect. Yeah, can we see what that frame looks like? Mm -hmm. We can go just a little wider than that, I feel. Just a little bit. I, I really like where it's at, though. I love it so much. Cool. Oh, dude. There we go. That's our shot. Which one? This one? Yeah, that one you made. The one all the way to the right. That's the shot, dude. That's, yeah, perfect. Chef's kiss, compliments to the chef. Cool, cool. Beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, that's so cool. All right, cool. So I have to actually call it a night right now. Yeah. No, for sure, dude. I mean, wow, dude. Um, just yeah. Any last questions so much, before we uh, we part? Yeah. Any last questions? I have one on the chat here. Uh, it's from our uh, moderator. It's from our uh, professor. Sorry, Patrick. He says, "What apps?" You okay. Yeah. Um, what apps does Eric suggest the students can use for storyboarding that are free? Um, that are free. Let's use pencil paper. <laughs> pencil paper. Use pencil paper because um, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what program you're on. Um, it's all about just communicating and and if you can do it on paper and pencil you could be anywhere um but i mean if you want an app i mean there's one procreate that one's pretty great i'm using photoshop right now um you know if i get into like animatics and stuff i i do uh i use storyboard pro um but uh but yeah just pencil and paper um yeah, I mean, I should do a demo on pencil paper. Like with pencil and paper, what I, I like doing is I like getting a blue pencil first. And then you can like draw out your shot. And then, and then you take like a black, or you can use, let's say you use a pencil next. You know, then you use like a gray or pencil and then you could kind of get a little bit more of the detail in. Hmm. Yeah. Like this. And then and then with the last bit, you go in with your ink. Again, this is a little crude, but. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude, it looks great. But I'd say more than more than anything, like I think people like need to work on their perspective for sure. That's number one. And then and then your people. Um <clears throat> but like understanding the proportions of the people, you know, like eight heads, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
it's usually seven and a half. But then like if you say that the camera is so basically if you have a person right here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> here's their hips. Here's their legs. And there's kind of your mannequin like that. And then if you want to have a shot where you're at eye level, if you're at eye level, you could be right here. Uh huh. And see that? Here, wait, let me let me show you like this. You go at eye like eye level right here. Let's say if this was a like a train track, you uh -huh. know. But then if you want to make it a lower angle. Like, let's say you want it at the feet right here, then you could throw the train track there. Does that make sense? Oh, dude. Yeah, it's it, it looks like something so simple, man, but it just it makes such a difference. And that's, yeah. that's insane. And then, um, like, you know that this is eight heads. So then if you draw a line from here to here, you have another person behind and you know that that also like let's say here's the hips so the hips will be right there the feet are right here so then you know that the head you cut this up into fourths and you have another person right here further behind um so yeah learning that then that helps and then then later you could do like um add another perspective down here and then you're like looking down like um Maybe they're on some kind of like cliff going down. Yeah. Wow, dude. This is so geometrical, dude. Like I never. Oh yeah, there's so much geometry. But you're, I'm thinking of all this stuff like on the fly. You know, like like this right here. These are the lines. Like, um, like again, these are just like little placeholders. You know, mm -hmm. will the live stay on Eric's page so students can rewatch? Yes. Yes, it will. It will be. Maybe you can help me edit it, Hector. <laughs> and for any I pauses. Sure yeah. yeah. But, um. Yeah, we, do. we should. But yeah, maybe we should do this again. This was fun. You know? Yeah. Oh, I'd love to. I'd love to, man. Thank you so much for having me. Um, dude, I won't take any more of your time, but I just want to say thank you. And on behalf of our school, thank you so much. And we really appreciate it. And this was honestly invaluable information. I mean, this was just amazing. So thank you so much. And thank you for the opportunity to, you know, choose one of my projects out of everybody yeah. who you could have chosen. So thank you so much. I really yeah. appreciate it. And, uh, if there's any yeah. other questions, just put it in the comment and I'll, I'll, I'll type it up. And if, if anyone wants has any other questions or or anyone else wants to see a demo or something, just type it in the comment and I'll, I'll, I'll make a video. Maybe, Hector, you could help me make the video of sure. me showing more perspective, showing how to do facial expressions, how to do, you know, composition, you yeah. know? Yeah, man. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Let's see. Uh, would Eric be open to doing a Zoom live lecture? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Um, awesome. Awesome. Thanks, Bruce. Thanks, Maria. A video on perspective would be amazing. Yeah, for perspective, sure. Perspective, honestly, dude. Yeah. After seeing you do that, man, I can't think of it the same way. Honestly, perspective, like you said, it's is the most. It's it's the key thing. I. Think. It's the camera. Yeah. yeah. It's the camera, right. and then. And then, like, you can make people look like they're moving by just moving the 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 camera, the yeah. the, the 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 what's it called? The vanishing point. 
Um, yeah. But yeah, no, we'll, we'll let's, let's figure something out, man. It'll be cool. Yeah. No, absolutely, man. Absolutely. And uh, again, thank you so much on behalf of everybody. And, you know, personally, thank you. I mean, this, yeah. was a, this was a great time. Had a lot of fun. It's a blast. And obviously just... And wait, when are you shooting this? You're shooting this next week, maybe? Uh, maybe. Maybe. It's still up for grabs. It's still okay. up uh, for negotiations, but maybe next week. If not, like I said, we're going to be shooting this maybe uh, Christmas time around December, maybe after the holidays, maybe Valentine's Day. Uh, there's no set date right now. We're still in pre-production. We're looking for the actor currently. I have my actress, but I need an actor right now. So got it, got it. Well, yeah, cool. Exciting we'll, stuff. We'll check out uh, Hector's cigarette after dark. Cigarettes after dark. And um, thank you. Let's see. It's uh, this is the thumbnail right here. And uh, thank you all for joining. Yeah. All right, awesome. Hector. Take it easy, Thank man. You, Eric. you got you it, too, man. man. Thank you Bye. so much. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Good night.